Everywhere there is life, there are cells. They're too small to see, but they're the basic building blocks of life. Cells come in a tremendous variety of shapes, but most of them share the same basic structure. Cells can live by themselves or with other cells. When they live together, they form cell tissue. Within one type of tissue, all the cells are the same, but living things are made up of different kinds of tissue, each carrying out a specialist role, for example, muscle tissue, nerve tissue, and skin tissue. Most of the organisms we see around us, including ourselves, are multicellular. Cells are mostly very small. You can get some idea of their structure with a light microscope, such as the ones you use at school. To see detailed structures, scientists use electron microscopes. These can magnify the image of the structures many thousands of times. To find out the chemistry of the cell, biochemists use chromatography and many other methods. They found that there's an incredible complexity of chemicals within the cell. Combining all this information, they've been able to build up a picture of what the cell looks like inside and how it works. They found out that a cell is like a miniature chemical factory, with lots of chemical processes going on at the same time. Different parts of the cell are like different parts of the factory. Cells are all different shapes. They can change shape and often everything inside them moves around. This is our model cell. The most obvious thing about cells is that they have a boundary around them called the cell membrane. Everything inside the cell membrane, except for the nucleus, is known as the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm consists of two elements, a semi-transparent thick liquid, the cytosol, and floating in the cytosol, various organelles. The organelles have a wide variety of shapes. most prominent is the nucleus. This is the control centre of the cell. Attached to the nucleus is a system of folded membranes called the endoplasmic reticulum. There are two types. The rough endoplasmic reticulum helps make protein.